Hello everyone, it's me on here and welcome guys back to a brand new video and the last video of 2020. I thought about making a video uh, on the last day of 2020 because uh, it, it's kind of a special video because it's talking about the future of this channel and where it's going to be going and thus for it. It's like a channel update but it's, gonna be, it's not going to be called channel update because you already know what it is. So as of last week, I did tell you guys that I'd be uploading uh, every other day and at like 1 p.m. for like gaming videos and that was on my fault of course I didn't do that because I didn't really have the time and dedication to do it uh, for the last like couple of uh, weeks or months uh, of like uh, making uh, short films gaming on that end has not really made a mark on my channel and I know how that has been affected because every time I upload a gaming video of course it doesn't get grab, grab as much attention as I thought it would it flumps like every other video uh that's gaming related content wise uh gaming videos don't really cut the channel anymore or at least they never really have and that's okay that's that's completely okay i never really expected to become a youtuber because like everyone else on the channel or everyone else on the site be wants to become a youtuber they want to grow an income and becoming a youtuber becoming a professional of what they do uh of course I never get that because you have to be constant. You have to be uh, constantly uploading. You have to have motivation, productivity, and the ideas that just shoot out your head. Either be with the gang or not. And it's also a bad thing to be with people that are not specifically uh, like be like involved in what like people are doing. Like if someone makes a Fortnite video or a Minecraft video, do exactly what they're doing, and they'll gain the same. You'll get the same uh, view count that they do. Normally that doesn't work and if it does 50 50 you, you're lucky if you're not then uh, Then you tried um, So with that out of the way of me saying that I don't think I'm be becoming a gaming channel unless of course I play with uh, Friends and they want to make a video then of course I'll make a video with them about a specific game and then we'll play through that uh, But otherwise my channel will not be for uh, games anymore. I think that's a safe call I mean um, sure, they might be entertaining for you. I mean, they're pretty entertaining for me uh, as a creator or as a, I, I want to become a creator. I still think I am technically. I mean, YouTube doesn't really see that, but um, I don't know. Maybe I'm shoving myself down too far because uh, becoming a creator requires a lot of dedication. And I am slowly becoming dedicated. I dedicated to the craft that I like producing, not the something that someone else created and then I play it uh, about. Like, if you understand what I mean, um, where I'm trying to come in from, uh, I like, I would like to play games at one point, but maybe not all the time because I'm not a daily uploader is what I'm trying to get at. I'm not a daily uploader. I don't have that time of de dedication. Uh, I used to think I was, but little did I know, I really wasn't. And if I really were to become a daily uploader, I need to hire an editor. And I know editors, I know what, they, what it takes to be an editor because uh, editing takes a numerous amount of time. Usually it's much more fun than even recording a video, believe it or not. I mean, you, you probably don't believe it and say like, no, 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 it's just recording the video that's fun. No, it's it's about editing. It, it's, it's, I mean, for me, it's editing and that's the most fun you can get out of it because you can really spice up the way the video is made. And that really, that is the kind of style you technically want to become as a YouTuber or any type of video creator for that matter. Uh, you can have a specific style and people will know exactly what it's you because you have the specific style of editing. With with that being said and done, um, I obviously don't have that and I will not be probably doing that. But instead, I will be trying to dedicate my channel to filmmaking and the art of becoming a filmmaker and myself becoming a director and a future screenwriter. I hope to become one of those because it is pretty fun. It's it's fun and a challenging work at the time to become what you want to be doing. And I've really been um, thinking about how I want to dedicate my art to, or not dedicate my art, but like becoming more fluid when it comes to telling stories that I think would be interesting and have a different go at it. Become, maybe try something new. And thus far, Filmmaking and directing a film, and especially on the, my last one, which uh, if you haven't already seen Siren Head, I recommend it. Uh, get to that in just a second. Um, uh, oh man, I just forgot what I just said. Hi, editing Nolan here. 
Um, so when I was trying to get out as far as uh, directing and writing uh, my Siren Head short, it was a interesting challenge that I had never uh, tried in my life, and it was a very uh, it was a it was an interesting going how to properly or not properly just trying to get into the film uh, idea, like try to become the best director you can and try to talk to as many people as possible and like how how the process goes in making a film. And that was really one of the coolest things about um, uh, making uh, Siren Head a, a thing. And uh, to all of you that supported uh, the premiere of Siren Head, thank you all so much. We hit just about 200 views on YouTube and that is... That, that's bonkers to me and I appreciate every single one of you who participated and still enjoy the film today I know it's not the best film it is I do hold this film to my heart because it is like one of the best films that I have technically produced uh there'll be more on the way of course but this one uh I am happy that I have created and that's something to uh do this year and uh yeah it was just pretty fun I can't believe I got to do a film this year which is even crazier but uh yeah, I just wanted to fill that gap uh, here. So uh, thank you all. Uh, trying something, trying something new. Trying to write different stories that I think would be interesting in a way that I never really thought I would try to create. And uh, thus far, uh, going to the topic of my new film, Siren Head, which thank you all so much for uh, the support on that. It was incredible. Of course, uh, I don't think the creator uh, of Siren Head, uh, Trevor Henderson, love the man. Uh, I don't think he even knows the film exists, so if he ends up like coming across this video or the film, uh, thank you for creating a character that uh, uh, is really neat. I I like the character a lot. He's pretty cool, pretty cool dude. Thing, he's a pretty cool thing, I should say. He's awesome thing, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna be trying to dedicate myself to becoming a director and making films that are pretty. Uh, cool i hope that the future holds a very dear place for me i hope this channel uh grows makes it helps grow that way because that way i'll know what people are, are interested in and uh that really does help a lot if especially if you don't know when uh or what kind of what kind of director you are people then know who you are so if that makes sense, I hope it did because uh, I'm still kind of fuzzy about what I was trying to um, get at. But uh, yeah, uh, thank you all for in. Uh, well, thank you all for joining me this year. I really appreciate it. Thanks to all the new subscribers and past subscribers who have been there since day one. Uh, I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful uh, New Year's Eve, and I. Uh, on, I hope this year will be awesome but uh, yeah uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you happen to enjoy it why not hit the like button down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel because you don't want to miss any new videos that are coming out I still have a horrible speech impediment which I, I, I hate man this is dark. I, I, see what, I really need to start like being like have to curve my back in order to fit the uh, frame. It's so weird having to just do that. You know? Like, I have to fit in the whole frame that I'm looking at right now. Um, well, out of the way, uh, yeah. I hope this year I get to become a uh, director and a future screenwriter. So, thank you all for helping me on this journey. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.